In this video, we're going to extend the paper covered pamphlet to include a cover that has pockets that firmly hold the pamphlet in place. In the first video, I described the paper covered pamphlet as the ultimate beginner's project for bookbinding. And this is a nice extension of that, focusing on precision of cutting and folding. Again, this project comes from the book, Book Forms, and the details are in the description below. This video will focus on making the cover with the pockets. However, I'll quickly go over making the pamphlet, but if you need more details, it's covered in depth in the first video on paper covered pamphlets. I'll fold six sheets of A5 short grain paper to make an A6 size pamphlet and then I'll cover that in a plain, slightly heavier paper. I'll punch five holes to do the five hole pamphlet stitch. Here I used a template to punch the holes, though you could just do it by eye. 12 millimeters in from each end, one hole in the center, and then a hole halfway between the holes in the center and the ends. I'm putting the knot on the outside, so I start on the outside, weave my way down to the end, back to the other end, skipping the center hole, come back to the center, and then tie a knot over the top of the thread that goes from head to tail. Trim the head and tail, and then the foredge. We want the same nice square spine that was on the simpler wrapper. For that we need to measure the thickness of the book, so we use a scrap piece of paper to fold around the thickest part of the book, which is about a centimetre or a half an inch in from the spine. We'll crease the paper over the top of the book, which will give us the thickness of the book. The pockets are going to add some thickness to the book, so we'll add a millimetre to compensate for that. The decorative paper that we're going to use needs to be twice the height of the book and at least four and a half times the width of the book. Five times the width is what is recommended in the book, but I just didn't have paper that wide and anything over four and a half will work. This is what the paper will look like after it's been marked up and folded along the crease lines and this is what it looks like after it's cut out before it's folded. We start by folding the paper in half and then marking the width of the spine from our scrap piece of paper and then folding along the new line. Depending on the light that you have, it can sometimes be very hard to see the creases. So it can be helpful to put a mark in the crease so that you can see it easily. We'll do all the folds the same way. We'll put the ruler up to the left edge of the mark, or the right edge if you're left-handed. Score the paper with the bone folder, then lift the paper up and crisp up the fold with the bone folder up against the edge of the ruler, and then complete the fold. We center the pamphlet in the middle of the paper from head to tail, and then make a pencil mark a millimetre away from the top and bottom, the head and the tail, of the pamphlet. Using the scrap piece of paper, we can transfer that measurement to each end of the paper and then we'll fold the paper at those marks.
Now we'll do the vertical folds. The innermost ones are just slightly wider than the width of the pamphlet, about a millimetre again. So we'll put the pamphlet in place firmly up against the spine and make a mark again a millimetre away from the foredge. Again we'll use our scrap piece of paper and transfer that measurement to the head and tail either side of the crease lines for the spine. Then we'll fold the paper at these marks. The next part of the flap needs to wrap around the inner part of the flap, so it needs to be ever so slightly wider. So we'll just add a tad, maybe a half a millimeter, to the measurement that we used before, and then we'll transfer that to the head and tail out from the folds that we just did, and again fold at the mark. The next step is to make the cuts to remove the unwanted pieces of paper. In the book it says that some fine tuning will be required. And it doesn't say anything but in the pictures in the book the flaps are clearly cut at a slight angle. So we're going to just do that anyway because it just makes folding the cover up much easier. So what we want is for the edges of each of the flaps to angle in ever so slightly, maybe a millimeter or two. Now I'll draw these in with the pencil so it's easy to see and it's probably easier to understand if you can see it. In addition to the corners, a thin strip of paper has cut out the width of the spine at the head and tail. The final step is to fold up the cover and fit the book. The trickiest part is to turn in the outer flaps. You sort of roll those in and putting in the second cover of the pamphlet. And again, you sort of roll that in.
that is our little pamphlet with decorative paper wrapper with pockets done. I've been making books for 30 years and I still enjoy making simple pamphlets like this. They are beautiful in their simplicity and also practical. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. As always, I really appreciate you hitting the big thumbs up button. If you're able and want to, you can support me through Patreon or with a one-off contribution and the details are in the description below. If you want to be notified of my future videos, please hit the subscribe button and select the notification bell. Until next time, cheerio.